Hi guys, for this video, I will share how to send data to Firebase using Arduino Uno Wi-Fi Revision 2. Before that, please like, share, subscribe and press the bell to get the latest update from us. First, we will set up Arduino Uno Wi-Fi board, connect to your computer using USB cable, then open Arduino IDE software. By default, this board is not in the list of Arduino IDE boards, so we need to install it. Click on Tools, Board and Board Manager. Select Arduino Mega AVR Board and install. Finish install. You can select Arduino Uno Wi-Fi Revision 2 Board. It is located here. Then choose 80 Mega 4809 and also the correct port for this board. Now we will set up Firebase, go to Firebase website, you can search on Google, get started, click on create a project button, give a name for your project, for example, Uno Wi-Fi R2, click continue to proceed. This is optional, either you want to enable the Google Analytics. For now, I will disable it just for demo. Click Create Project. It will take time, just wait. Okay, finish setup, click Continue. Next, click on Real-Time Database. Create Database. There are two options. First, start in Log Mode or start in Test Mode. I choose the first option and click Enable. Now, we go back to Arduino. This is sample program that I shared in Cytron tutorial page. There are four lines you need to replace. First is your Firebase project ID. You can find it here. Replace up to this part and leave the rest as it is. Second is your database secret. Click service account. Click on database secrets. Show and copy the secret code. Please be reminded this is secret code. Don't share to anyone. Next is your Wi-Fi SSID. Last but not least, your Wi-Fi password. After update all the requirements, you can proceed to upload. While uploading, I will share a bit about this program. What this program do, it will read the sensor data in this board. The sensor is IMULSM60ST. It will read the astrometer data X, Y, and Z. Then it send the data to Firebase for every 2 seconds. You can check the value inside the delay. 
I will open the serial monitor You can see live data updates There are two methods here First set float and second push JSON For set float, it will update the data in the same path For example, the data for X, Y and Z is keep changing Different for push JSON, it will update a new data in the new path You can change the interval time to send the data to Firebase So that's all for today Please be reminded this tutorial is prepared for you to try and learn You are encouraged to improve the code for a better project application I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies Good luck and thank you for watching